So what I have here is a table of some of my videos that I've made and are on YouTube. There's a lot more than this, but here's the title. It's the type, like if it was for iOS, Word, Photography, Excel, and so on, what year, and the number of views. And I might want to get an average of these, but actually what I might really want is an average of just those that were Excel or those were, that were Excel in a particular year. Now, the average, I've got a video for that, and there's one as well I've got for average if that would allow me to have criteria for just one of those. So if I wanted the average for just Excel or just for 2012, for example. But if I wanted the average for Excel and 2012, then I would need to use average ifs, which allows me to have more criteria. So just as a quick reminder, I'm over here, I'm gonna get the average of my views here. So for that, I could go into my formulas. So for that, I would then go into my more functions here and statistical, it might already be on the ribbon and just choose average. Now, if you're using a Mac, this pops up on the right hand side, but all these things work exactly the same. So I'm just going to highlight that. And there we go, press okay. And there's my average 326,076 for those videos. But let's just do this now for an average if. So I've got it for Excel and in 2012. Now you'll see I've actually typed in 2012 here so that I can change the year and I'm gonna incorporate that into the function. So let's just put it over here. It's actually in this cell here. And I could go into my more functions again, choose statistical and there it is, average ifs. Now. The other way you can do this is by insert function, either this button or the one that you see on the formula bar. Again, the same in both Mac and Windows. So I just click on that and I could actually just type it in. So let's just type in average, press enter, and there's average ifs. Let's click on okay. Now my average range is this. So I'm just gonna highlight those. You see it's put that in there. My criteria range will start with this one here, the type, that's Excel. I put that in and I'm going to type in Excel. It's not case sensitive. Okay, so let me just do that. And you can see it's automatically put in the quotes here. So if you were typing in this function from scratch, just typing it into the formula bar, you need to put in the quotes if you've got text in there. The second criteria range is this one here with the year, so I'm just highlighting that. And then over here, the criteria, well, could just type in 2012 and it's giving me my answer here. Let's just move this to the side because to make this a little bit more interesting and user friendly, I'm just gonna click on here on 2012 and it's giving me that same answer. Let's click on okay. So there it is, it's giving me the answer for Excel in 2012. Let me just format it by going into home, clicking on the comma here. Let's just reduce down the decimal places. So I'm just clicking on the toolbar here and over there. Let's see what happens if I change it to 2013. And you can see it just immediately updates. Saves me having to go into the formula and change it. And I could have done the same for Excel. Let's just do that in a moment. But I just want to show you what happens if I put in a year here where there's no answer because it isn't one of the criteria it's given me a division by zero error. So let's go back in and put in 2012. Now, if I wanted to do this so that I could type in Excel as well, let's just type that in here. Let's click on our function. Let's click on my insert function here. And I could just go and change that so that it's this one and click on okay. Right, what if I change this to something like Word? As you see, I didn't capitalize it. Well, that didn't help, did it? So let's find one, let's do say 2013. And there it goes. So you can see that if I don't have it correct, it will give me a division by zero. When I say correct, if the criteria doesn't come up with anything. So that's how you can use average ifs, which allows you to have criteria ranges, you can have more than the two criteria ranges that I had, you can have a lot more. But you can make it easy as well by just putting in the data in here so that you can easily change it. 
Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and stay safe and come back for more.